guys, what's going on? Welcome to Blues Rock Guitar Lessons with me, Jake Andrews. I'm your host and your teacher and your mentor, at least for the rest of this video. So today, I wanna to show you the intro on this classic Freddie King blues song called I Love the Woman. Freddie King, one of the great legendary Texas blues artists. Now, he has a few songs that are very similar. These are from his earlier records. He has a song called, Have You Ever Loved a Woman? Which Clapton did a version of, you might have heard. This song, which is called, I Love the Woman. And then he had another very similar one called, You've Got a Lover with a Feeling. So those are all great classics. We're gonna learn just this intro verse on I Love the Woman, his original version. It's in the key of C, and I'm gonna play it for you right about now. It sounds like this. One, two, three. And then he's into the vocal and the rest of the song. All right, so. Come follow me in here close. Let's get in here so you can start learning some of these cool Freddie King licks. All right, come up here to our C box right here at the eighth fret. So we're playing here and then we're sliding into the second position just for one lick and then going back. All right, so get your ring finger up here on the fifth string in the scale box and that's where we're gonna start the first lick. Looks like this. And we cut it off. So we're kind of walking down the bass strings, and then here on the third string, we're actually going to hammer on to the major third right there on your middle finger. Very common in blues, and especially in Freddie King's playing, BB King's playing, getting that major note right there. So and that's the timing. One, two, three. Okay, now there's a big space there, so we're going to immediately throw in our ninth chord right here, which is this chord shape. This is our C ninth, okay? So we're on the back side of the first position, so we play that and then we play triplets. This is very common in a slow blues, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three for a rhythm part. So we're going to go. cut it off. We're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and cut it off to make room for the next lick. So this is what we have so far. You see how I kind of emphasize the first, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Yeah, that sounds good. Now we're going to immediately, on your ring finger, come here to the second string on the front of the box, so right here at the 11th fret, and we're just going to slide a full step into the second position. If you can, put a little vibrato on it so it sounds like. So you see it's not a slow slide, it's a fast. Okay, two, three. Now, drop immediately to the first string below here, and with both your ring finger and middle finger, we're gonna bend that. Make sure your thumb's over the neck, bend it. Don't try to bend down here. Get your, ring, your thumb over so you can grip it. And we're gonna go. So all on the first string, we bend up, come back down to the note, and then come to your first finger, and then back to this note. Now, I want you to, on your ring finger, go up to this string above it, the root note on the second string. But I don't want you to jump it. I want you to roll it up there so it's real smooth. This is one of the big, unique things about Freddie King's playing. He's always doing these 
what I call rolling across the notes here. Some guys call it stacking the notes, okay? So we're not actually jumping and getting that choppy sound. We're actually coming down on this string a little lower than we normally would, and then we're rolling really by kind of hinging at your wrist right there, okay? So we're gonna go. Now, immediately come back down on your first finger, first string, and we're gonna walk it up to our ring finger. So right here, we're also getting that same major third that we got here. So we walk it up on the first string. And then do that same roll back here. And finally end the lick by coming back to your first finger, first string, bend it slightly up and cut it off. The way I cut it off is, is come back down on the note on my pick here. All right? So that whole thing is So we've slid in here. All right, are you with me? Now, a slight pause, come back to your first position, and we're on our ring finger, first string, but we're in the first box. We're gonna bend it right here at 11. So we're gonna bend up, come down on the note, and then kind of walk back to the scale here. So it's kind of a choppy cutoff there. And then we're gonna immediately switch back over to our ring finger on the third string here, so we have to pull it back. And we bend this. So what we're doing here is we're bending it up, but we're, we're cutting off the note at the top of the bend, and we're coming straight to our first finger on the third string with a slight bend. We're basically bending up a half step here to this major third. Okay, so all on the third string. Now come down on the fourth string with your ring finger and first finger because we're gonna pull that off. And then finally end up here which is the note we started the verse on. Put those together. So that last whole lick is... See, there's that slight pause after this. Finally, end the intro by coming back to your first finger on the... Third string here, bend it up like we did a minute ago. Straight to your ring finger on the fifth string. And then we're gonna go to that ninth chord from the beginning. We're gonna go half a step sharp, so C sharp, and slide it back to C, like this. And that's where the first vocal verse would start, okay? So that whole last part. And then you can play those same triplets for the rhythm. All right, so that's it. Let me play the whole thing slow for you, and then I'll play it full speed. Here we go. One, two, three. is like this. One, two, three. And that 
is all there is to it. The intro to I Love the Woman by Freda King. Try to work it up the way I showed it to you and then see if you can take those individual licks and use them in your own improvising in any key. If you would, please subscribe to the channel and come check back regularly for more free blues and rock and R&B and soul videos, lessons. I would appreciate that. And please, please come see me at bluesrockguitarlessons.com where I break down full songs, verse by verse, have really in-depth videos, and I have all kind of good material over there for you guys to check out. I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching.